Alright, what is up everybody, Mr. McDerp here, and today's video I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about a guild that I am actually going to start recruiting for. I made it a while back just for the guild bank, but I'm actually going to turn it into an actual thing, and it's called Miabla. So, this is obviously my guild hall, I bought the one in Craglorn, um, I got me a transmute station up there, a provisioning station up there. And basically the goal of the guild is just just a big social guild, nothing crazy, no required dues unless you're of course in a specific rank, then you in which case you are required to pay dues, but that there's only going to be two ranks and I'm going to explain that in a minute. <clears throat> so obviously we're just in the building stages of the guild, so nobody's going to be paying dues for a fat minute. Like trader, trader apprentice. Now, however, if you want to grow this part of the guild, send me an invite on or send me a message over xbox there's my gamer tag right under guildmaster it's mr mcdirt um if you guys really want to do a bunch of trader stuff send me a message over xbox saying guild invite please put in parentheses trader i'll make sure you get to this rank right off the bat as you can see you can um you can do a lot of guild you can hire the guild vendors your apprentice cannot and also if you guys want to be the trader you are responsible for both the collecting of the dues from trader apprentices and making sure that the guild vendors are up to date you will have to use your own money trader apprentices will be paying you dues I don't fuck with dues so me and my cousin we're not gonna collect that don't send me that I don't fuck with it only the traders fuck with that I'll make sure you get a member note saying that's who you pay your dues to. Um, first 30 regular invites, you just send me a message over Xbox saying guild invite, and I'll make sure you're a recruiter. Now, first 30 people, or for, uh, let's be more fair, first 10 people, you have a responsibility to grow the guild. We need the guild growing a little bit. Like I said, not much dues. Now, let's talk about what all we're going to be doing in the guild. Personally, I just got engine shoulder the other day, so I'll definitely host some RGB in the guild hall. For those of you guys who got lots of guap, or if you just want to play for chump change, that's cool too. Not really heavy on it. You just, it's whatever. Over here, we're definitely going to be doing some duels, some weekly duels and stuff like that, some tournaments and other shiz like that right in here in this little circular area which was the main excuse I wanted to buy this guild hall in the first place was because it had a nice little arena we're gonna call that the arena it may not actually be an arena but we're gonna say it's an arena just for the sake of shit also gonna be doing a lot of PvE and daily dungeons a little bit of trial runs some zerging and Cyrodiil mostly for AD if I ever get one of my blue characters grinded up we can also do some zerging and uh... for blues doesn't matter got me a little transmutation and i do plan on getting every like a two mundus stones every two weeks which is like every paycheck for me so obviously this was the first one along with the provisioning station over there for any you provisioners i don't think it requires a special provisioning station like, I'm, I don't know much about the provisioning, says you have not learned any of these, so. I'm assuming you can make lots of food with just a regular. <clears throat> um, that reminds me, now that I think about it, for attunables. See, my crafter's not maxed out on everything. So, if you are one of those heavy, if you're a master crafter, please make sure that I am aware of that, because... And I'm only going to do this with a very trusted of individual crafters. It's going to catch this rank. I might not do it. That's not saying I'm recruiting for this one. I'm just saying that's also rank responsibilities, of course. Anyway, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, one other thing, and I forgot to mention it. Oh, let's mention it before I do forget. This rank is a grunt rank, which is a PvP rank which is a heavy PvP rank, or just one of those guys, if I play with you a lot, you might get upgraded to Grunt. But the cool thing about it is, or what I was going to mention was, if you were going to do any gilding, guild YouTube channels that are based around my guild, 
I am one going to subscribe to said channel and two you will get this rank automatically so yeah there's that I hope you guys enjoy the video I hope you guys are willing to join the guild help build it a little bit anyway with that out of the way Mr. McDerp as always peace